morning, brothers and sisters. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is I, Brother Williams, here once again. And I just wanted to continue about the message that I sent uh, yesterday about God is the greater power over all powers. That there are many powers out here in this world. And yes, even the devil holds power, but God is the greater power because God created all. Scripture says that it's not God of creating a father of all. That he is the creator of all things. As a matter of fact, in Christ Jesus says, In the, uh, him all things were created through him, for him, and by him. And nothing that was made that was not made. So everything has to come through Christ that was created. Now, in Exodus, the fourth chapter, it speaks about when God came to Moses and appeared to him in a burning bush that was not consumed and called him out by his name and told him, basically, I want you to go to the wicked king Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. And Moses was frightened. He was scared. He was nervous. But we have to understand the scripture. We get scared and nervous about things. But one thing about scripture says is that if God be with me, who can be against me? So we always just need to pray that Jesus be with us, that he go before us and make our crooked path straight. Now, he asked Moses, what is this in your hand? And Moses said, it is a staff. And Moses was actually shepherding the flock of his father-in-law. And one thing about a staff is that what shepherds use is it's basically a stick that they use to protect the sheep. And this is know that this is what God offers us in our life protection. It also rescues us when sheep are in a hard place. Some staffs have a hook on it where they can pull the sheep out in rough places. So we know that we need the staff of God to bring us closer back to him when we get out of line, when we get too far away, we need Christ to bring us back. But also the staff is his word. And scripture said in Psalm 23 that your word and your staff it comfort me. This is the protection of the Lord. This is the rescuing of the Lord. This is the deliverance of the Lord is in the staff. He told Moses to throw it down to the ground. When Moses threw it down to the ground, it turned into a snake. And this had not to be an ordinary snake because when he saw the snake, the Bible said Moses fled from it. So God told him to pick the snake back up. Letting you know also, God can use whatever you have in your hands. Meaning, whatever you have within you, he can use you. Moses has committed murder, but God still used him in a mighty way because he was obedient to the Lord. So we all have done something wrong, but if we be obedient to the Lord and come back to him, he can use us in a mighty way for his will. And so he said to grab the snake by the tail, because you know when you reach for a snake, you grab it by the tail, because if you go for the head, you're bound to get bit. So actually, he grabbed it by the tail and it turned back to a stick. So make the long story short, when he went to Pharaoh, him and his brother Aaron, Aaron had the staff. And so God told them to go ahead and go before Pharaoh and throw around down the stick and it would turn into a snake. So Pharaoh wanted to see a sign from Moses and Aaron and say, well, show me a sign that you coming in this I am that I say that I am, which was Lord Jehovah, Yahweh, uh, Yah, in the name of Jesus Christ. I can explain that on another lesson. But the name of the Lord is Jesus Christ. Is that he threw down his rod and it turned into a snake. Pharaoh was not pleased. He was not amused because the scripture says that in Exodus the seventh chapter, I believe verse 11 or 12, is that he went and called his sorcerers and his mediums and they brought rods and they cast them down and they turned into snakes. So you had one snake, which was of God. Then you had several snakes that was of the devil. So they let you know the devil has some type of power, but he don't have power over God. So one thing it shows is that if you read verse 12 and 13, it says that all of a sudden, this one snake compared to many snakes, it lets you know the ratio of false prophets out here in the world. There are many devils out here in this world compared to good, good people, uh, righteous people under the Lord, is that that one snake ate all the other rods that was right there, which was the other snakes, that let you know that who had the mighty power, and that was the rod of Aaron, because that was God behind that power of that rod. So Satan will fall short. There, 
has no other power greater than the power of God. So I want us to all trust in the power of God and not of the power of the world office. May God bless you, keep you in Jesus' name. Amen.